Hey guys, it's Renee from Two Chatty Chicks and the Guest. We're here today. We're going to talk about um, how to pour some molds for our upcoming class. Renee, would you like to talk about uh, how we're going to make some molds today? Okay, yes. I wanted to share with everyone what we use. Today we're going to be talking about what we use, and that's amazing. The next time we'll, we do this, we're going to use the paper clay. But today I wanted everyone to see how this is done. And what you do is you're going to take part A, which is the clear, and you always want to make sure that you get equal portions before you mix it. So I'm going to mix part A, and then I'm going to put the yellow in this one, which is part B. And those I will hold up, and you can pretty well tell that those are about the same amounts. You want to make sure you get it all in there, and I don't know if they can see this or not, Sarah, but you can kind of see whenever you first start mixing it, it's cloudy, and the longer you mix it, then it gets clear, and once it clears up, that's whenever I pour it, because this sets up in about 10 minutes, okay, and see that looks pretty clear there. Sure does. Okay. So, and this will set up in 10 minutes, it will be clear whenever you first pour it, but as it starts hardening, it will turn white. And whenever you are doing something that you want it to be pliable or bendable, like on a bottle or something, then whenever you take it out, you can bend it. And that's what I really like about it. But now once it gets hard, it's hard and it's not going anywhere. And sometimes I may not always fill my molds completely up, and I can feel that this is already getting warm, so it's already kind of beginning to set up. And another thing that I like about this is say you run out just like I did there. This is one that I had done before, and so you're not going to waste anything because you're going to go ahead and mix up, and I can fill this up, and you'll never know the difference. It looks just like you just poured it. So the reason we did this is because of the class that we're having this weekend. So I'll let Sarah talk to you about that while we wait for these to harden. All right, we have our book class coming up this Saturday. It is $38.95, and we're, everyone will actually get two books that they'll customize. Um, they will just have the, the black swamp mud on them, and then we're gonna do several paint finishes. We have a rust kit and a patina kit. So there's several different options. Uh, like you see here, we, we'll be doing the molds on them. Also on this one, we did some stamping, which is another nice element. Um, none of these books will be the same, so everyone will create their own, own books to take home with them. Um, yes, and we're using um, Iron Orchid uh, designs, the molds, and also the stamps and these stamps. And we're going to be using Miss Lillian's No Wax Chalk Paint Products and the Patina Kits. Yes, and I am extra excited about the Patina Kits. Yes, me too. <laughs> so we're also, we did want to just kind of talk about the different classes that we are offering at Blue Suede Shoes. We have some of our... Um, uh, of our plaques and monogram signs. Um, also, we do some with transfers. Um, so that's just a little example of what we have coming up. Um, if you see anything you like up here, let us know and we'd, we'd love to get a class scheduled for you. We are doing, um, we're starting to do parties as well. So anybody need a girls night out, well, give us a call and we could set something out up for you. And kids parties too. Yes, and kids parties too. So uh, want to awaken that, that creative mind in everyone. So see we're excited. See how this is turning here already. That so cool? that went from the clear and it's turning the white. So we're yes. doing a little chemical reaction here. And this one has been set up a little bit longer than 10 minutes because we got sidetracked, but that's normal. <laughs> so Not you, us. You can just pop it out. I mean, it is just really, and it comes with really clean edges. And if you do over pour, it's fine because you can just tear that right off. And yes. that one is still a little pliable. Mm -hmm. And that's what, maybe 15, 20 minutes, yeah. I guess. Yeah. You know? So that's really neat. So, and we do attach these to the books with a Loctite glue. Yes. Um, 
I don't think we have it on us today, but no. we have found that that one is a little, it dries a little bit faster um, than. And whenever it's there, it's there. Yes, yeah. when it's there, it's there. So it's we like it. With the hot blue, because we had started yeah. with the hot blue, and I just didn't like that effect at all of how it turned out. And so. they were tending to come off. Yes. So yes. we have found a much better solution. Absolutely. We're also going to have some fabric pieces that people can can use to add a little uh, special element to their book. So we are just really excited about um, having this for you on s Saturday. So if y'all would like to register, go ahead and call Blue Suede Shoes or you can message Renee or I and we'll get y'all set up. So uh, Come and join the chatty chick and the guests. Yes, the guests will be here. <laughs> All right, y'all. We'll see y'all later. All right. Bye.